Now, what I've got here is a Dakota Hawk wing rib jig, and unfortunately when we went to bend the wood to put it into the wing rib jig, we were seeing some cracking and breaking. So what we're going to do is pre-bend the wood right along the most extreme part, right at the very beginning of the bend. We're going to go ahead and do the pre-bend over on the universal side bender. We're going to put together uh, some luthier tools with some airplane making tools and see if this is indeed a match made in heaven. If you want to find out more about universal sidebenders, just Google universal sidebenders with luthier tools. It's basically just a form across here, which we cut out of a 2x4, and we have a silicon heating blanket that's set across there, and a little P, uh, PID heat controller. We're going to use about 130 degrees Celsius to make our bend. Uh, before we do anything else, we'll have to prep the wood, and that's what we'll show next. Here's our strips of wood, and we are just going to get them good and wet. Um, this moisture is going to become, we're going to go ahead and get them wet up to about here, and then turn them over and get them wet on the other side. Um, and that moisture is what's going to make the steam uh, when we put everything inside the, uh, um, inside the heating blanket and in that aluminum foil packet. All right, there we are. The whole area we're going to bend is now wet. Now we're just going to lay them out nice and neat, and we're going to wrap them up in aluminum foil. And that wrapping them up in aluminum foil is going to once again hold the steam in while we press them into place around the form. So once that's done, we're going to wrap the aluminum foil. Here. And just like we're making a burrito, we're going to get it all nice and wrapped up. Mmm, spruce. All right, so now we're ready to load the machine. The spruce goes up on top of the form. There we are. The heat blanket goes up on top of the spruce. And then the top pieces go across and they're gonna get pressed down to press it into the curving shape that we need with our ribs. We need to put the heat sensor for the PID controller, and that's going to go right up on top of the blanket, right across there. And now we are ready to put just a little bit of tension on it with the universal side bender. Not enough to start anything bending, just enough to transfer the heat. we do is we plug it in it's already preset to 130 degrees Celsius but it's going to take it a little while to get there you can see the little uh, PID controller spinning up and before very long it's going to start heating things and once things start getting warm we're going to start to see steam coming out of both ends of that aluminum foil tube and we're going to be able to press that down all the way across but we'll uh, hold off on that for just a moment us here on the control panel, we're up to 84 degrees Celsius. Uh, 100 degrees Celsius, of course, is where water is going to begin boiling. And uh, then we're going to start seeing the steam form when we get up to that uh, temperature. And we can go ahead and start to uh, bring the tension up with our controller across here. And this is going to give us nice and slow, even pressure while there's steam from inside. We can start to give it a little bit more pressure. We're not going to go all the way up to full pressure until we get up closer to 120 degrees, but this will let us bring it down a little ways here, and then we'll probably hold off a bit. Okay, we're all the way up to our 130 degrees Celsius, so at this point we're just going to go ahead and clamp everything down. <laughs> and we are ready to let it bake. You can't really see it on here, but if you were to look really close, you can actually see the steam escaping. Um, you can see that in real life, but my potato here doesn't film that very well. So uh, we'll just leave her sit there for the next couple hours, and then we'll power her down. You can see no, bre no breaking occurring while we bend it into this shape, but if we were to bend that dry and cold, they would have all pretty much all cracked when they went around that.
So here we are some hours later and we're going to go ahead and unplug the machine. So here's our machine and there's that beautiful curved section of wood that we just made. and laid one of those pieces of wood right across the top here. You can see the bent section is going to align with the most strongly curved section and the rest of it will just easily fit right into the frame uh, on our bending jig. And there you have it, the Universal Side Bender uh, a Luthier tool does an absolutely amazing and beautiful job of bending the cap strips for an experimental airplane.